a guy had it in the $1 bin. He said it was scratched and I don't even see the scratch on it. Um, but anyway, I felt like $1 was something I couldn't pass up, but it's really loose. And so to keep it from falling apart in my booth every time somebody picks it up, I thought I would glue it in. So it opens up like a picture frame, which is a little weird. I don't know why they would want you to be able to remove the mirror. Anyway, my plan is to, I was gonna go hot glue. I may need to think about that. I don't want it to squish out. All right, hold please. Let's see, I am using Apothecary. So we're working on getting all of the plastic out of our kitchen. That's a whole nother YouTube episode, I think. But um, one nice thing about that is that it's left me with all these um, containers. So my plan is to try to keep the back still off the, you know, you know, the drop cloth. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go on a little bit thicker here. I'd like to do it in one coat, and I think with a dry brush it probably would have, but I'm afraid with my wet paintbrush that's not gonna happen. I am gonna distress it. So since it's not gonna be a perfectly, perfectly perfect, finish. I'm not too super duper worried about it.
I've made two videos, two of which have serious holes in them, so we're gonna fill in the holes. Um, one, this mirror did not stay glued in with the hot glue. I probably could have added more, but I was trying to rush because it was gonna be drying the entire time. Anyway, so now we're gonna go wood glue and see how that does. So this is Gorilla Wood Glue. I haven't done a whole lot of repairs on the furniture, so I don't know. Like I don't have favorites, things I would go with. 